Do we have a lot of people to thank this week for their innovative work? I'm thinking about you, Medi, at Carrefour for your innovative work over the last five years. I'm thinking about Uber and the breakthrough in building future data apps. Great article in Silicon Angle about that. And then I'm thinking about my friend, Rennie Bean, who this week published an outstanding piece on the Harvard Business Review on why CDOs, why chief data officers fail and how to fix it. In fact, if you can only read one thing this week or this weekend, I'd say that would be the piece. Now, all the references uh, are here in uh, my feed, on my blog and in comments so you can easily find them. Now, when I started the video, I said we, and that's because today I have a very special guest. You can see her right here. This is someone that I'm sure you all know. And if you don't know her, you should. Uh, she joined our team to help organize the first ever Data Engineering and Analytics Day. Uh, if you're just discovering this event, it kicks off next week, June 29th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. We are, in fact, sitting here because we just were rehearsing the keynote for you all. The day is organized around content you've asked for, data engineering, data analytics. We'll talk about Spark, Beam, BigQuery, machine learning, and some more as well as Looker. It's not a marketing event. It's not a commercial event. It's organized for the community, by the community. It's a great way for all of us to connect and work together. So register down here, one, because it's free. Two, you'll get access to all the recordings after the event if you are unable to make it live. And then it's gonna be a fun moment for all of us. Now, before I get too excited, I tend to do that and still the thunder of my guests here. I wanna bring her in. Here's a special guest, Stephanie Wong. Hey, everyone. All right, well, you got the glasses. You look great, Stephanie. Thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to do this uh, keynote with, uh, with, uh, with you. You've done great work uh, putting all this event together. Now, for people who don't know you, if they still exist out there in the world, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you. Well, you mentioned that I'm working with your team right now on a rotation as an OPM or outbound product manager for data and analytics. But I also recently started as a PM for Duet AI for Google Cloud. And you mentioned that you started as a developer advocate? Oh, I didn't mention that. But the last five years, I was also a developer advocate for Google Cloud. So you might have seen some of my content out there too. What is a developer advocate for people that don't know that? The easiest way to grasp it is we are looking for signals. We're out there in the developer community hearing your challenges or any opportunities that you'd like to see with Google Cloud. We're also just learning the latest features so that we can create educational content for the developer and technical practitioner community. And you do a great job with that. You were at Oracle before you were at Google. What were you doing there? Oh, I was actually working with customers. I started my career out as a customer engineer, all for cloud computing. That's awesome. So Stephanie knows a lot about the pain that you're going through and she's creating content to make it easy for you to consume all that. You should follow her and there are many places where they can find you, but what's your favorite platform? I would say LinkedIn right now. You can find me uh, at Steph R. Wong or on Twitter at Steph R underscore Wong. And I create a bunch of content about the tech community and industry. And so you can check out my YouTube channel, which I'll link here as well. Awesome. And we'll tag you if you want to hear more from us. Make sure to join that event, Stephanie. You rock. Thank you so much for everything that you do for the community. We'll see you all very, very soon.